Welcome back for a new top 10 list. This time is going to be a special horror theme, or rather, horror films. This is my top 10 personal favorite horror films of the 2010s. So let's get to it. First, honorable mentions. Keep in mind, these are strictly my own personal opinions. Uh, first up, honorable mentions, released in 2011. More of suspense, I guess, than actual horror, but still, I enjoyed it for what was uh, The Right, which starred, of course, Anthony Hopkins. Next, released in 2019, Annabelle Comes Home. Next, honorable mention, released in 2018, Insidious, The Last Key. And the last of the four honorable mentions, a really cool Irish horror film, and it was placed in my top ten favorite films of last year. And the last honorable mention goes to a film called The Hole in the Ground. It's actually really interesting. Check it out. Coming in at number ten. Released in 2013, this was the second of four installments in this franchise so far. Of course, directed by James Wan. Coming in number 10 is Insidious Chapter 2, which is the, by far the least creepy, in my opinion, of the four Insidious films, but I personally enjoyed the storytelling a lot. And that's where Chapter 2 excels in is storytelling. It's more of a mystery suspense film than an actual horror film, at least from my perspective. Coming in at number nine is another, I think, underrated horror film released in 2015. Actually, a pretty good one. I think it's one of the bit creepier ones. And I gotta say, after watching this film three times, I gotta say, I really do genuinely enjoy it. Uh, coming at number 9 is a film called The Vatican Tapes. If you can a chance, check it out. I believe it's on Amazon Prime, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, next, coming at number 8. Released in 2013, this was my introduction to another James Wan. Now cinematic universe, if you will. Coming at number 8 is the original The Conjuring which I really like quite a bit. And it's what got me to check out now every single film in the Conjuring universe thus far. Next, coming in at number seven, is a film about, well, it's a possession film, and it's called The Possession, released in 2012. Uh, you definitely would recognize the actor who played the dad in The Possession because he played uh, John Winchester as well as Negan. Uh, I think the film is really cool and it's, of course, based on an actual real object believed to hold within it a Jewish demon. Or at least believed in Jewish belief systems. Um, of course, that being the... Uh, Darn it, I forget what it's called now, the correct term. Dybbuk Box. It's really interesting, actually. And I don't know why. I like Reeds Bash, the film, personally. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, coming in at number six. Released in 2015, this will be the third installment of four films. And I genuinely really enjoyed it. I've seen this movie now five times. And every time I like it, at least a little bit more. Coming in at number 6 is Insidious Chapter 3. Next coming in at number 5 is a great film. I enjoyed it genuinely more than the first film from James Wan. Of course, an another main installment in the cinematic universe. Coming in at number 5, released in 2016, was or rather is The Conjuring 2, which I genuinely do enjoy more than the first Conjuring. 
And of course, it would be our introduction into the Demon Valak. Next, coming at number four, a great film created one of my personal favorite creatures in modern horror, Bagul. And as well as, unfortunately, its sequel sucked. Uh, coming in at number four, released in 2012, the film Sinister. By far, the first Sinister film is superb and really good. Next, coming in at number three, released in 2017. I believe I've, I've seen this film now six times, if I'm not mistaken. And, of course, this is the first of the two-parter remake based on, of course, the Stephen King classic. It coming at number three is Stephen King's It. Really good film, in my opinion. Way better than, sadly, the second part, Chapter 2. Coming at number two is my favorite of the Conjuring universe. Released also in 2017, interestingly enough, within a few months of it. And that is by far the best, I think, film revolving around evil doll. Coming at number two is Annabelle Creation. Coming in at number one, but before I do, I think I'll give an honorable mention to another film I forgot to mention. Uh, the Lady in the Black Dress, I believe is, or The Lady in Black, which of course uh, stars in the film... Uh, Daniel Radcliffe. It's actually a pretty solid film. I recommend checking it out. Uh, coming in at number one, released in 2010, created, of course, by the great man James Wan. In 2010, would introduce us to known as the Red Face Demon, or as I like to call him, the Darth Maul Demon. Coming in at number one, the original Insidious. Without a rival. I have seen the original Insidious movie now 12 times. So that should say how much I like the first Insidious film. Plus I've reviewed Insidious 1 as well as Chapter 3. Eventually I need to get around to reviewing Chapter 2 and The Last Key. And maybe review eventually Annabelle Creation. I might do that this next Halloween season for All Hallows Eve. But anyways, I'll see y'all next time. Stay safe out there, everyone in YouTube land. I'll see y'all next time. Same YouTube time, same YouTube channel.